XTV are here at the bottom of Forum Hill at the UCU strikes. We spoke to some people to ask why they're striking and why this is so important to them. So I'm here with Barry. Barry is a senior lecturer in mathematics and a UCU rep. So Barry, uh, what would you say to students who don't understand why you're striking? So we're here fighting to defend our pensions, but also to defend uh, pay and working conditions to make sure that those are improved for all staff, not just lecturers. And the students have been incredibly supportive. Uh, the Guild put out a poll, 78% of students were supporting the cause of lecturers to, to come out and defend our pay and pensions. What would you say to the Vice-Chancellor of the University right now? That they need to put pressure on. Uh, their colleagues in other universities to get back around the table to negotiate properly and to give a proper pay and pensions offer to staff that reflects our value. So we hope that there'll be concrete measures put in place in order to remodel the USS pension to make sure that um, we understand the, the funding position of that. We need to make sure that uh, there's a change in management at the USS uh, pension scheme. We need to make sure that we close pay gaps on gender and on race, actually have concrete actions decided that give us measurable outcomes. We need to make sure that staff who are coming in new to the profession aren't being paid the 20% less now than they would have got 10 years ago and actually we close that gap in some way and we need to deal with the increasing casualization in the sector so there are far too many staff who are on precarious uh, short-term contracts and we need to make sure that they have a, a decent salary but also job security. Two years ago um, you striked for four weeks how is this connected to that strike? So last time they were threatening to close our pension scheme and we successfully fought that off. But now they're coming back and asking us to contribute more for the same benefits. And in fact, what emerges is it's the model that is broken that they are using. One of the legacies of the last action is that a joint expert panel was put up and that was very critical of the things that have been going on within the pension scheme. They made a number of recommendations, many of which have not yet been implemented and we want the employers to push harder to make sure those recommendations are implemented, a better model is put in place and then we can talk about benefits and contributions once we've fixed the model. So essentially we're getting two sets of pay cuts one because our, our payments for our job um, have not kept up with inflation so they've been constantly eroded away over a number of years because of sub-inflation pay rises and those haven't surprisingly necessarily brought people out. What brought people out was the fact that they knew the one good thing about being an academic is at least you've got a sensible job with a decent pension at the end and then they started to mess with our pension and that's why we've got so much support at the university and across all the universities, I believe there's 60 universities in the country who are um, out on strike at the moment. That sort of says that this isn't just an Exeter thing, it's across the country. Academics are fed up with a monetarised um, neoliberal system that treats education as a commodity that's got to be sold to you. All of us will work as hard as we possibly can for our students, but it's being taken advantage of. People have got very, very high workloads. A lot of people are coming in at seven, half past seven in the morning and are still at their desk at seven, half past seven at night on a regular basis. Um, that's a concern. The gender pay gap in this university is anywhere between 17, depending on which measurement you take, 17 and nearly 20%. Well, why should I be paid less than my male colleagues? A lot of that's to do with the fact that women find it harder to get promoted with the system that's here. And most students aren't aware that there are two sorts of staff here, lecturing staff. There are lecturing staff who also research, e &R staff, and then there are specialist lecturers who concentrate all their energies on students, the ENS staff. ENS staff have typically been unable to progress their careers and that's another thing that we want to start to talk to the university about. We have many, many staff that come and lecture to you who may be on very short term contracts just for a few hours you know, in a term and they're just paid for the hours they're in contact with those students, 
so I might have 10 hours of lectures and it sounds like quite a good deal when somebody says you're going to be paid £37 an hour to do that but you don't get paid for any of your preparatory work, any of your putting together your lecture or creating materials to go up on your LE site. These precarious types of contract have got to stop. I've got colleagues who are on very short term contracts of one or two or three years who are basically losing their jobs after that, despite the fact that they're fantastic teachers and have brought in research income. So I'm really keen that we really protect those people and that's why we're on strike. We're not on strike because we want to be. We're on strike to protect not just ourselves but principally to protect your right to a good education with great staff who really care about you. You're not a commodity and neither are we. So I'm here with Beth who is a student. So Beth, uh, what do you study? I study second year politics. Why are you striking today as a student? I'm striking because as much as I believe my education is important, I also believe that the rights of my lecturers who are teaching me is equally as important because without them being treated fairly and receiving a fair wage for what they do, I feel like it's not going to be reflected in my learning. So what would you suggest to students who want to help but don't know how they can? I would suggest that they come along to the picket and even if your lecturers aren't striking, I would still boycott your lectures. Um, not a lot of my lecturers are actually striking, but I am still here today and I will be here this week because I believe that it's important that we show our support to our lecturers, even if they're not necessarily all striking. And just get as involved as you can with the pickets and sharing things on social media just so that as many people are aware of what's going on as possible. The university is about what we've done on this picket line today. From across all the disciplines we've all talked and we've all shared ideas and we've all enjoyed and talked about our subjects mainly, surprisingly enough, even though we're on strike. Yeah, what do you do? What is, what's your interest? What's your speciality? Well, you know, where, what part of the university do you work for? What, you know, do you teach undergraduates or postgraduates? At the bottom of this are an enormous amount of people who are incredibly, incredibly passionate about what they do. And I think that that's the thing to sort of explain to you, that it isn't... It's got to a point where nothing would happen. There would be no progress without us taking this action.